Hello there. Hi. Um, my name's Dr. Sundin, one of the junior doctors. Hi. Um, can I get your name? It's Mike. Mike. And what's your date of birth, Mike? It's the 31st of August, 1966. Okay. Uh, Mike, I've been asked to examine your heart today. Uh, that will involve me sort of having a look at your hands, we'll have a look at your arm, your neck and your face, feel some of your pulses, and we'll have a listen to your heart and lungs and just check your legs and stuff. Would, would that be okay? Okay, yeah. Good. I'm just going to go and wash my hands. I'll be back in a second, okay? Okay. Um, are you in any pain at all, Mike? No. Okay. I'm just looking for anything of note around the bed. Can't see anything. Okay. So just looking at Mike from the edge of the bed. He looks pretty comfortable. He's not breathing fast. Um, he looks okay there. Good. Okay, Mike, I'm just going to get you to just pop your hands out for me like this. And I'm just going to have a look at your nails. Okay. Can't see any obvious clubbing there. Okay. Mike, can you just do this for me, Mike, if you can? Just try and copy what I'm doing there. Good, just bring it together like that, good. From this angle, you can see what the patient is being asked to do and the doctor is trying to look for any evidence of clubbing. Okay, great, that's fine. Uh, and just turn your hands over for me, Mike. Good, okay, good. Have a feel of your pulse. The doctor is feeling the radial pulse, noting the rate, rhythm, character and volume. Good, and I'm just gonna compare the two pulses. Good, and I did I'd listen for at least 30 seconds. Count the respiratory rate while I'm there. Do you have any shoulder pain at all, Mike? No. I'm just gonna gently raise your arm up, okay? Good. That's perfect, okay, and just feel the brachial pulse. So the doctor is feeling for the brachial pulse, which is just medial to the biceps tendon and the anticubital fossa. Good, and just rest your arm there for me, Mike. Ideally, then we'll check a blood pressure as well. Okay, Mike, just rest your head back for me and just look all the way to the left for me. I'm just looking at the neck for the JVP. I'm just going to gently push on your tummy, Mike, okay? Patojugular reflex is normal. Just bring your head back in the middle for me, Mike, and just bring your head forward. That's perfect. I just want you to keep your head there and just look up at the ceiling for me. Good. Okay, so there's no xanthanasm or cornulacus. Good. Okay, Mike, I'd like you to just open your mouth for me, okay? And just have a little look inside. Dentation looks okay. And just close your mouth for me, Mike, and I can't see any central cyanosis, so that's good as well. Okay, let's have a feel of the carotid pulse. So you can see that the doctor is now feeling the carotid pulse at the neck. And then with the bell side of the stethoscope, he is now going to auscultate the neck, listening for any obvious brewy, which would indicate stenosis. And then you repeat the process on the other side. Mike, I'd like you to just put your hands like this for me for a second, okay? I'll just have a look at his chest. For any obvious scars, pacemakers or anything of note. Okay, good. That looks fine. Just relax for me then, Mike. Okay. Uh, so, Mike, what I'm going to have, uh, have a quick feel of your chest, if that's okay. So, I'm just going to feel for any obvious sort of heaves, for any thrills. Okay. And then we want to feel for the apex beat. Three, four, five. Okay. Six. Good, it's a normal apex beat, okay. Just gonna have a listen to your heart sounds now, Mike, okay. So the doctor is listening now to the aortic area with the diaphragm of the stethoscope. He's then moved on to the pulmonary area, tricuspid area, and the apex slash mitral area, each time listening out for any obvious murmurs. It's also important to listen to the lateral side of the chest in case there's any radiation of any murmurs. Mike, I'm just going to get you to roll to your left a little bit. I'm just going to have a listen to you over here. OK, 
Okay, that's good. Just bring yourself back in the middle for me. Okay, I'm just going to get you to gently sit forward. Okay, and I want you to take a big breath in and then just breathe out and hold for me. Okay. Good, and just breathe normally, that's great. Okay, Mike, I'm just gonna get you just to stay there for a second. Just take some deep breaths in and out for me. And again. Good. Just gonna feel for any swelling in the back and the sacrum here. Good, Mike, just rest yourself back for me then, Mike, okay. Uh, just gonna have a look at your legs very quickly for any obvious swelling, okay. Good. Same for the feet, same for the ankles. Good, okay, Mike, that completes the examination. Uh, for completion, I would do an abdominal examination for ascites and hepatosplenomegaly. I'd do a peripheral vascular examination of his pulses. I'd check a fundoscopy, check his blood pressure, and do some bedside investigations, including a temperature and a urine analysis. Mm -hmm.